In less than an hour, gates open for the Corny Ball and PRCA Rodeo. The annual festival is a fundraiser for nonprofit organizations in Holotus. Weather Chief Bill Taylor is at the rodeo grounds. Bill, what can you tell us about this year's festival? Hey, I'm on the dirt right now, Audrey. Take a look. The animals are just almost within arm's length. That's why I got my man Cody right here, brother. Good to see yeah. you, man. I'll keep you safe. Stay yeah, I know you will. Yeah. I appreciate you. You bet. You now, bet. How, how long have you been a rodeo clown? Well, actually, about 20 years. But you know, all through all through my school school days, you know, middle school, high, high school, I was a clown. But now I get paid. <laughs> I get paid for it now. So, <laughs> when did you say to yourself? I want to be out there with that barrel well, and protect some cowboys. You know, I, I rodeoed, I competed in the bareback and bronc riding and road bulls when I was younger, and then okay. I kind of got, got old and kind of spread out. And uh, <laughs> But no, I, I filled in for a clown that didn't show up one night. I filled in for him, and the guy hired me to come back the next night, come back the next night, hired for him the next night. And Perfect. so what turned into just a fill in, now I do it. Uh, I go, I travel 11 months out of the year all over the United States, Canada, Mexico, Australia. Wow, and, even Australia. Uh, yes, sir. And then now this weekend, hello to Texas. You've got to have a little element of crazy. I well, gotta be honest. With you. It's controlled chaos is what we call it. You know, we we really uh, we have a game plan together. We, you know, a lot of people think we just get out here and run from bulls, but we scout these bulls. We know we we watch them on video and Facebook and Instagram. I they mean, have their own absolutely. accounts, don't they? The, the good the good bulls and horses do. And right, they're so, influencers. Yep. So we'll sneak around and watch them, kind of watch their mannerisms if they hook. You know, if they chase the cowboy, and and that's when I bring my my clown barrel into. It, like I had to last night. I was to, gonna say yeah. you you were saved last yeah. night. This happened last yeah. night. I gotta I gotta call my insurance agent. I'm not sure if that's uh, <laughs> but uh, you know the barrel is this weighs about 150 pounds and oh, we man, make sure yeah, there's yeah. a lot of padding on it. Yeah. We we don't want to hurt the bull's head or their horns. Right, right. That's why we put all that padding on it so they can hook it. And uh, but anyway, this is the island of safety. I get in it, help protect the bull bullfighters awesome. if they need a break and need uh, the bull rider needs to get behind it. I'm just out here for them. Cody, stay safe, my brother. You God Thanks bless you, man. 7.30 is when we're going to start. 6.30 is mutton busting, which is a great beginning. I want to show you some of the clouds I'm watching to the east bubbling up a bit. Let's start with radar and a look at Friday. I've got some showers mainly east. You know, in fact, the farther east you go towards Houston, we even had more flooding rains. I mean, they are just rain swollen in southeast Texas. So anything that's fallen out there is definitely going to lead to flooding real quick. Not the same here. We don't have a flood threat. We don't have a big severe weather threat. What we have some pop up showers and you can see them hit and miss throughout the afternoon, especially now that we're in daytime heating hours, but I'm not expecting too much. I mean, these will last about 10, 15 minutes and they move out. Future cast radar. I want to show you what's going to happen over the next 24 to 48 hours. As we get into Saturday, expect more fog and drizzle early. We're not going to lose this humidity and this soupy atmosphere that's definitely in place. I wish we could get a cold front. It's just not going to happen. It's May now, so this is the time of year we got to live in these soupy conditions. And that'll be a good chance of showers and even thunderstorms, mainly on Sunday. This is when I want you to be weather aware Sunday morning and again by Sunday afternoon. I'm looking at two lines that could develop. Now remember, this is of course Friday afternoon. A lot of this model data could change by tomorrow. We'll take a closer look at some high resolution data on Saturday and let you know about Sunday because I know you got some plans, especially out here. There's the cowboy on the horse for your seven day forecast. Notice the temperature changes. We're staying mid 80s through the weekend with just some pop up showers available. About a 30% chance will be the best it can get on Sunday, but look at the mid 90s waiting for us next week. You've got to come out. Gates open at 5 p.m. The 59th annual Corny Vol. Rodeo starts at 7:30. Actually, mutton busting at 6:30. But coming up on Ken's Five News at 5 and 6, we're going into the grounds and show you what you can expect at this year's Corny Vol. Audrey, what do you think? You think you get in here? What do you think? I would absolutely not get in. Just like, just like a plane ride with a little bit of turbulence. Oh, just like a plane ride. I don't know no if I way, believe huh? him. Don't ever trust yeah, a clown. Exactly. <laughs>